Hello and welcome to Transfermarkt TV. My name is Stefan Minkowski, he's Manu Vate, and today, Manu, we're talking about a young player that most of our viewers probably haven't heard of. He's a young 16-year-old, I think he's only just turned 16, uh, talent from Ecuador. Uh, we're, of course, talking about Kendry Paez. There might be some Chelsea fans who now know who he is. He's on the cusp of joining the club. Um, let's just dive straight into this, you know, before we talk about who this player is or what what kind of players on the pitch, why don't you kind of explain where Chelsea have plucked this guy from and why they are signing him now at such a young age? Yeah, there's been a lot of buzz about Kenry Paez, right? Um, together with Endrick, the the Brazilian young player who was signed by Real Madrid already for a deal that's uh, I think in its entirety seventy five million euros. Kenry Paez is sort of the next young and exciting uh, talent emerging from South America. Um, he plays for a club called Independiente del Valle. Um, excuse me if I butchered this. My Spanish is not the best. But, you know, um, this is a club that has had a lot of success in recent years, um, both in the Copa Sudamericana, but also in Copa Libertadores. Um, they are a club that is also very good in talent production. Um, you know, they have sort of moved and graduated players out of Ecuador on a on a very frequent basis. And this is the, the latest super talent that they have produced, maybe even the biggest talent that they have produced of the many talents that have emerged from this club, right? Um, and because he's, you know, he emerged as a 15-year-old getting first team minutes already, he's recently turned 16. Um, when you compare him to other U17 players that we have on Transfermarkt, right? And I've written, this, I've written a long feature with some help from our South American team on on this player, he he ranks right along Paul Wanner and Ho Joe Bellingham in terms of market value already. And this is even though he's younger, right, extremely a lot younger. So this is a player that there has been a ton of buzz about, um, and Chelsea have sort of gone in and snapped him up for you know a reported sum of twenty million euros. It's not official yet, but you know when you when you read the reports, you know it's only a question of time, I guess. What really is lacking at this moment is like, when are they going to be able to make this official? Because of course, he doesn't have a European passport. It's a little bit tricky with the work permit, etc. Right. But uh, this is a really highly talented player. And, you know, this 20 million euro fee really sticks out here. Yeah, absolutely. Now, of course, we we know Chelsea are a club who've got a long history of signing young players developing them in their youth team, sending them out to one of their feeder clubs. So we're not really expecting uh, Paez to be kind of starting for Chelsea anytime soon. But despite that, can you give us some sort of indication of what kind of player he is? Um, you know, where does he play on the pitch? And if he was to play for the Chelsea first team one day, what kind of player would fans expect? Yeah, I've spoken to some people um, that know the market quite well, right? Um my buddy Filippo Silva, who's tactical manager on Twitter and also has a very successful YouTube channel, for example, has a really close eye on South America. And he described the player as a comparable to Angel Di Maria, right? So um, very explosive, fast, strong, um, direct um, at an age group, in an age where you don't really expect that, right? So that's sort of the ceiling that um, a lot of people um, expect with uh, Paez, um, of course, you know, this always depends on the development and the way it goes. It's really hard to project what happens to a 16-year-old uh, at this stage. Mind you, though, look, if he was Brazilian, you look at Endrick and how much he cost, right? Chelsea, and they signed a lot of players. And that is maybe the risk, right? They might have looked at this and said, okay, well, we can get a player who is at the same level as Endrick for a third of the price. Now, of course, that seems like good business by Chelsea, the question that a lot of people have been asking, though, well, Chelsea do sign a lot of players. They have signed a lot of players in the Abramovich era. They are signed a lot of players in the Todd Bowley era. I mean, they spent in the region of 630 million euros this season alone on new players. And a lot of them are attacking players, right? Now, we don't know what happens in the next two years. With, with Chelsea, 2025 is a long way away when Payet finally turns 18 and can move, right? So, um, of course, the concern that has been voiced is, well, two years is a long time. What does that mean for his development? And once he does get to Chelsea, can they develop him and, you know, hone that talent that he has and turn a rough diamond into a diamond? And that, I think that is where a lot of people are concerned at the moment. Yeah, they'll no doubt probably have be onto their third or fourth manager after Frank Lampard by the time he does land in London. Uh, but until then, uh, I can only urge our listeners and our viewers to go check out 
Manu's feature on the young player. It, you can find it on Transfer March. You can search for his name and then head over to the news tab and that will show you all the, all the latest features we have on him. Uh, and of course, any other Chelsea news, transfer news, it's all there. Uh, so do be sure to check out Transfer Mark. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like this video and be sure to let us know what you think of this young player and you, whether you think he'll ever get a game for Chelsea. Uh, but until next time, we just want to say thank you very much and we'll speak to you soon.